This here next to me is the Skoda Kamek. It's the 1 litre TSI SE, which is essentially the base model of the Kamek, and it's the smallest SUV in the Skoda lineup. But is it any good? Well, let's find out. So then let's start with the exterior design, the thing that you'll be looking at the most. And while the Skoda Kamek is quite a good looking car, it's streamlined, it's modern looking, stylish. For example, you've got the split headlights at the front, with gorgeous etching in the top LED headlights, which help you throughout a wide range of driving conditions. You've got the iconic, bold, gloss black vertical radiator grille with a subtle chrome grille surround. And further down still, you've got the satin gray effect to the lower front bumper. You've also got body colored heated electrically adjustable door mirrors and finishing off the whole look you've got 17 inch Braga alloy wheels which really do reflect the overall design cues of the Skoda Kamek. Eagled eye viewers of you will have also noticed that this has been fitted with black roof rails which is perfect if you're a large family looking for extended storage space for that long weekend away or if you'd simply just like to go away with some bikes. Moving to the rear design, and while it does echo that of the front, it's simple, effective, and it's sporty. Up top, you've got an integrated body colored roof spoiler for that sporty feel. You've got gorgeous etching found in the rear light cluster, similar to that of that in the LED front headlights, which is a very nice touch. You've got chrome model designation, and you've also got the satin gray accents like we found on the front bumper, but on the rear diffuser, and it all ties in really nicely. The Skoda Kamek is the smallest SUV in Skoda's lineup, so you'd think that it'd be tight on space, but you'd be mistaken, because there's a 400 litre boot on this Kamek, which is absolutely astonishing. You've also got storage spaces to the left and the right, and you can fold down those rear seats too, but more on that in just a minute. The rear interior of the Skoda is really impressive. It's super roomy. I'm six foot two for reference and I've had no space complaints at all. There's loads of leg room. The front seats actually sit quite high so you're able to slot your feet underneath them and there's loads of headroom too. I've not banged my head on anything at all. The rear passengers can benefit from rear air vents providing lots of air into the rear cabin and they can also benefit from rear luggage pouches so they can store their personal belongings. They've also got cloth upholstered rear seats providing plenty of comfort and support support on those long and short journeys and they've got gorgeous contrast striking stitching all throughout. Better still they've got integrated ice fix points which make fitting child seat fixings really easy and as mentioned in a previous clip you can fold down these rear seats increasing the boot capacity. Now the seats do not fall flat however they provide you with more than enough storage space. Sitting inside and while the driver really does have everything at their fingertips, you've got a lovely multifunctional leather trim steering wheel which is a joy to use, you've got a semi-digital instrument cluster, super legible providing you with all the driving data you need to get to your next destination safely. You've also got an 8 inch touchscreen display, it's got lots of different functions on there, a full navigation system, you've got DAB radio and much more like Bluetooth connectivity too for hands-free enablability. Further down you've got my manual air conditioning controls, a lovely manual gearbox. This is so smooth, I highly recommend taking it for a test drive. And of course the front seats, they're just as supportive as the rear. The Skoda Kamex interior just keeps on giving. There are so many cool little design elements all throughout. For example, you've got the dual cup holders at the front. Now these have a special molding. So when you put your bottle in there, you can actually unscrew the bottle top without it falling over. You've got gorgeous door handle design straying away from the traditional design language. And you've also got a plastic peg next to this windscreen, which is actually for placing your parking tickets for easy access. And to top it off, this also has a Rolls-Royce-esque element. It's got a place where you can store your umbrella in the driver's door. How cool is that? As mentioned at the beginning of this video, powering the Skoda SUV is a powerful one litre three cylinder TSI petrol engine. It produces 113 brake horsepower along with 148 pound per foot of torque. It'll get you 0 to 62 in 9.6 seconds and has a top speed of 120 miles per hour. It's a really nippy car around town and it'll give you fantastic miles to the gallon. So then I hope this gives you a better overview of the Skoda Kamek. It's a fantastic car. It's got the practicality aspect. It's packed full of technology. It looks good and it's got good performance figures too. Arrange a test drive and experience it for yourself. But until then, I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to browse our other current stock, but please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.